Okay, I just got this MK4 PCB from C Tazi on YouTube, or, uh, classicmk.com. I pretty it up a little bit using your MK Arcade Sources idea of printing out the uh, stickers on printer or uh, sticky printer paper. So stuck them on the ROMs there, got it looking pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and install it in my cabinet. <clears throat> Test it out. Alright, I'm gonna have to set the camera down for a second. I'm gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna plug in the player three connection. All right, I got the uh, kick harness plugged in. And all I was gonna do is get it installed in the switcher. And I'm going to put this in slot six, at least for the time being. Um, I may reorganize them later, move them closer together, but for now it's going into the last slot. Let me run and get a cam or a flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. Now I can see what I'm doing. This is the smallest of the Mortal Kombat PCBs. And I see what he meant. I was asking him how he braced his uh, PCBs in his cabinet, and I can now see how he did it. It was like an L bracket. <clears throat> and I guess he just bolts that to the side of the cabinet or the uh, bottom of the cabinet. <clears throat> so, it is installed back there. Let me power it on and see what happens. <clears throat> yeah. fans are on and running. I'll show you these fans real quick. Just installed these two fans down here at the bottom. They suck air in to the cabinet. And then I've got two up here which blow the hot air out. So definitely will keep it cool. Nice and cool. And I did, from the exterior of the cabinet at the bottom I mean, you can see just those two holes right there. That's where the fans are. So, didn't have to drill any outside holes or anything at the bottom. The only thing I had to do for the top was um, run a hole all the way through to secure to that piece of wood. But I talked about that in my other video. I won't get into that. So, press the switch for number six. So far so good, everything's testing good. I'm gonna have to set the time and the date. I'm not sure quite how to do that yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm assuming it's in one of the, uh, like the service menu or test menu or whatever, where you can set your options, your difficulty and everything. I'm sure it's in there. And this is revision three, which I think he said is the last MK4 revision. So that's cool to have. And I got all my MK4 player moves underneath the uh, uh, plexiglass there. 
thousands of years ago in a battle with the fallen elder god known as Shinnok. I was responsible for the death of an entire... I haven't played Mortal Kombat 4 in years. Round one, fight! Seems like all the buttons work good. There's a low punch, low kick, high kick, high punch, block, and run. Reptile, high punch, high kick, low kick, low punch, block, and run. So, looks good to go. This will, uh, I'll be playing this later today. Definitely have to look up the moves. I haven't played this game in a long time. But, looks pretty good. Um, might have to change the contrast just a little bit. But, I may just leave it the way it is. I don't know if I'm going to get it any better. I could brighten it up, I guess, a little. I always had it dark to begin with. Um, that's just how I like it, I guess. But, I may just leave it how it is. I don't know. I'll play around with all that later. Something I noticed, though, hopefully, uh, somebody can help me out with this. I don't know if you can really see it the camera. For. But, uh, Scorpion up at the top, wins. the lights from the marquee is, like, bleeding down. Fight. And it's lighting up underneath like Liu Kang and some of these players right here, it's kind of lighting them up and it kind of makes it look like shit when it's lit up in the dark. And when, it, when it's in the light, you can't notice it, it's fine. But when it's in the dark, you can see kind of the light shining through. So I don't know why the light is bleeding down through the marquee and onto here. Before these moves were applied to the window of the glass, you could see some light coming down here. So it's always been an issue. Um, it hasn't, it's not something that just sprung up when I took the uh, bezel out to put the stickers on. But I don't know if there's a fix for that or if that's normal or what. Just a little issue, but other than that, looks good. And uh, thanks for the MK4, I appreciate it. I probably won't play it much either, but it'll give me something to do. And I just want to have it so I can say I have all of them in my cabinet. So, thanks again.